Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the 10th episode of the 4th season of Shokugeki no Soma slash Food Wars. And before I get into it, I do want to remind people of something. Uh, if you do not like my videos, you are more than welcome to go away. To leave. To not watch them anymore. You know, if you just scour the internet looking for reactions to a certain anime and you happen to stumble upon my channel, you watch one and you find that my way of doing things, it just doesn't appeal to you. Yeah, I think rather than complaining about that and expecting a channel with thousands of subscribers to suddenly change to fit your particular interests or, you know, preferences, I, I think it might be a better idea just to leave and find one that already does. Just, it just, it might be a matter of opinion, but that just strikes me as a more productive thing to do. But, you know, everyone's different, I suppose. Regardless, we are in, into, I think, the final bout here. So this should be what's... This is the biggest one. This is the most important. We got plenty of important people participating, for sure. And I'm interested to see how that goes. So let's find out. Three, two, one, play. The fourth plates, you know, because we never get full. Two course meal. An appetizer and a main dish. You know, I think we had a lot of debate over who would do what. That is a hard wall to climb over. Never underestimate first years in anime. <laughs> well, you could just, you know, quit. That works too. <laughs> we won't complain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no. Wow, that's a magical tool. Well, yeah, it's very much teamwork focused. Yeah, meanwhile, Arena and Soma are not going to be as good. Yeah, they've never been that. Uh, they never worked that well together. They've always been pretty opposite of each other in like every way. Yeah, you know, they like each other. Don't get me wrong, but they just they don't blend that well together. So this should be an interesting one. But we had, we'll do our best at the very least, I know. I, like I said, I'm just glad to have Sierra now being involved in something. We got Mega Me before, which is great. It'd be nice if Nika Me got more to do, but oh uh, well. I still remember back in Nika Me's very first arc, you know? That was great. Yeah, the, the opening quite clearly shows the Soma and Arena teamwork working together to fight the final boss that is uh, Kobayashi and Tsukasa. Like, the, the opening telegrams out pretty well. And at least a couple shots. So it does make sense. That would be the final bout. We're back into it. How to build a specialty. <laughs> yeah, we're still building stuff over here. Damn, this is definitely going to be an uphill battle. Of course you will. 
Man, how far along are we again? Oh, wow. God, gee, man, that looks like it's... Like, you would Instagram that. <laughs> she definitely tasted... Those mushrooms that were absolutely obliterated. A fine choice. Whew. The tang. An ant? A bug? <laughs> Why? Why would you put ants in the food? <sighs> I... I would not eat an ant. Sounds disgusting. <sighs> but I guess the just right amount is fine. <laughs> I'm just, I'm still less interested in the dish now. <sighs> yeah, we, we don't use old ants here. <laughs> the young ant and the old ants. You don't want the old and busted ants. Of course, I don't want neither, personally. And I'm not a judge, so... <laughs> Did you become a beautiful butterfly from an ant? Because I don't think that's how bug biology works. Oh no, she's being eaten by, <laughs> by the ants. Okay, that, that's, that's good. That makes sense. Even though in reality she's eating the ants, I guess. In this case, the ants reading her. That's really saying something. Yeah, I still haven't seen much from those two. I would not have known that. <laughs> I don't think they cared at all. And we're releasing the flavor, it looks like. Oh. Yeah. Well, you're, you're all chefs, right? Maybe you can make it someday. Yes. His white plate armor. <laughs> it's gotta take care of the ingredients. As expected of Tsukasa. <laughs> I can't stab such a beautiful piece of food. Maybe I'll just smell it and judge it off of that. Oh, well, she has no job penetrating it. And they like it. They definitely like it. <laughs> Aren't we busy making our own food? <laughs> A flavor that you taste with your whole body, huh? The Gourmet Eden. I don't know how you beat that. But if anyone can figure it out, I trust there ain't none so much too. Your meat, of course. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
I'm not sure exactly how that happened, but I will take it regardless. I have me missed Nikumi's meat after all. <laughs> okay, that's science for you. I'll take that. I don't need a good reason. How, can you teach me that recipe, by the way? <laughs> right, of course. They are a weird one, aren't they? Uh, you're okay, Nikami. You don't wear much clothes half the time anyway. I expected no less from these two, but we still gotta beat them. Hopefully the opponents can. We just gotta make a dish better than the best. That's all we gotta do. Oof. What kind of judge just gives up on the opponent like that? Uh, wouldn't surprise me. I mean, that's kind of the same thing. I guess that makes sense. How gourmet can we get, though? We are about halfway through. Come on, Soma, I do have faith in you. Let's get a word together with Arena a bit better. We should have this. So, uh, I don't think... No, I don't think he would do that. I, I have kind of missed that dish a bit, but he wouldn't do that. Not for this. Not for something so important. I really hope so. Yeah, please do. <laughs> uh. Yeah, I think it does come down to that too. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of how it goes, Soma. You know, her golden tongue and all that. Yeah. Definitely sounds like a key to me. <laughs> what, do you have any good ideas to use your tongue for? Because I I've, have for a while now. Like a whole list, really. <laughs> I need to borrow your tongue, Arena, if you don't mind. <laughs> this is the kind of help we need. I mean, if she's a key, then I know we could use the key. <laughs> yeah, you don't mind if I take advantage of your daughter over here now, do you? You know, make use of her tongue right in front of you. Okay, we can go from there. <laughs> How's that golden tongue?
Wish you could have Arena come over here and lick my food before I eat it. <laughs> of course, you understand her. <laughs> uh. But <laughs> what is that again? <clears throat> sure. Corned beef. Bad trigger area right over there. It was a long night, wasn't it? Because <laughs> he wants it to be as good as it can be, you know? Can't blame him for that. You've known someone long enough, right? And I'd be surprised by that. Okay, as long as he's confident. <laughs> what the heck? Made some manga meat. <laughs> that dopey smile. They're like, what the heck are you giving us? You call this high, qual high gourmet? <laughs> Please do not translate anime as cartoon in an anime. Thank you. I'm sure it'll be fine. <laughs> this is the kind of thing you'd expect from Soma. <laughs> Literally everyone is shocked by this development. <laughs> Gotta up, up that politeness a bit. This is a bit much for an appetizer, but you know. That is so wow. Nothing quite like some meat, huh? Can't go wrong with that. Oh, that does sound good. Ah, uh, now I'm really getting hungry. I was doing well for a while, but now I need something. Store bought. I'll show you my show you. The most important part. You made great use of that tongue, so now we can see the results of it. Oof. You know, just a bit of Arena saliva. Yeah, that's enough to talk about it. Let's just enjoy it. What am I saying? There's never enough talking about it. <laughs> that's what I want to hear. I think they quite like it. Extra thick. She's injecting it on in there. Wouldn't want you to get a get a deadly disease, so <laughs> Yeah, never nurse me you hear is cooking. <laughs> uh all the ladies attracted to is me, what can you say? Oh, there we go. 
I, you did good to hear so much. You did good. <laughs> the gifting. Of course. I vaguely remember that time. He was into one, one magical dish. A <laughs> jumbled mess. Yeah, that was good use of the tongue. <laughs> it's a flawless name. But not with a golden tongue, or god tongue. I think you want the golden tongue, but it's called god tongue. Okay. Busto. Worst move. I mean, we'll see about that. It's not over yet. Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. Don't don't even worry about it. I have faith in him, so. What does he have to say about this? Of course. <laughs> okay. Oh, your specialty. <laughs> okay. She probably can. <laughs> a Shokugeki between you and me. Uh, kind of the opposite of a teamwork Shokugeki now. Alright, that was a very interesting way to take this. I love the blue fire on them. It's gorgeous. All right, so that's how someone decided to play it. We'll see if it pays off next time, I guess. So it seems tasting Tsukasa's food kind of changed what Soma felt he needed to do a bit there. Yeah, Tsukasa definitely brought his A game, so can't pull any punches. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, what? What's happening here? <laughs> I I have several questions about what the, what was happening in that end card, but anyway, that was the tenth episode of this season of this anime. 
And yeah, like I already knew, we were we started our final bout here. And the focus was mostly on Tsukasa side of things. Both the appetizer and the main dish on their side had gotten completed. Both were, of course, fantastic. The judges loved them, which is to be expected from our first and second seat of the Elite Ten. I don't think anybody expected differently. <laughs> like, now that we're going to bring a flip up there and have the judge be like, eh, it's kind of mediocre. Next, like, that was never going to happen. So, you know, nothing too surprising there. However, the food definitely looked great. No doubt about that. The judge is very happy with it. Uh, the ant thing was certainly a surprise. I, I personally don't want anything extracted from an ant in my food. I guess I will learn to that, but not me. I also don't need snails or anything like that, so... Everyone's got their own palate and all that. I can't even wonder how many times I called her tongue the golden tongue, despite the fact that I already knew it was a god tongue. See, I mean, just Tsukasa being very loving to that deer that he, you know, sliced up and fed to people. The butterfly imagery was interesting, for sure. Of course, certain characters losing clothing was quite enjoyable as well. But that goes without saying. See, I don't know how much more I have to say about this episode. <laughs> they really, some of them were really speculating about Soma making some horrible stuff, like the classic squid tentacles and peanut butter. Of course, he wouldn't do that. However, he did make a food that still surprised quite a lot of people. wasn't quite a wasn't quite the type of appetizer they were expecting for this sort of competition. Even Erina was quite surprised, so clearly was not part of the plan. <laughs> but she didn't help make it though. Soma did make good use of that god tongue to be able to make something good. So. Being able to utilize the key that he has quite properly, that surely helped quite a bit. So hopefully that can make the difference here. And the way we were able to kind of shift this into being kind of a shokukeki between shops, Soma and Erina was very interesting because it's supposed to be like a teamwork two versus two. And they just kind of make it into a one versus one. It's still a two versus two though, like in like the, the main thing. But at this point, we've had someone make a dish, and now he's kind of challenging Arena to one-up him, basically. Which he will have to, if they want to win this. And I do believe Arena has what it takes. You know, she's gone through plenty of character development in this show. So I, you know, growth, I expect her to be able to rise to the challenge, for sure. So... Hopefully she does. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.